A man continues to recover after accidentally leaving his car running inside of his garage, causing carbon monoxide to build up inside of his home. He says he feels lucky to be alive. Joe Baker talked with the couple today about the message to car owners with push to start and stop features. I wouldn't be here today. It was just that close. Earlier this month, Ken Brungard parked his car in his garage and he thought he shut it off, went inside his house to relax. The car was actually still running and filled the house with carbon monoxide. Ran an errand or two and came back, pulled the car in the garage, came inside, made myself some lunch. Ken says his car never alerted him as he was walking inside his home. It ran for five hours. He didn't realize there was a problem until he tried grabbing his phone from the counter to call his wife, Linda. Kind of stumbled over to the cupboard, picked it up, decided to walk back and fell down again. I knew something at that point was something wrong. His wife, Linda, came home and saw her husband lying on the ground. I was shocked. I mean, I opened the side door to come in the garage and the, the car is running and so hot in there. Come in and he's laying on the floor and I thought I, I, I have to do something. Ken was taken to KU Medical Center in Kansas City where he was placed in a hyperbaric chamber to remove the carbon monoxide. His message to people with start stop buttons is to make sure they are shut off. Would not want anybody to go through what I what I went through. In McPherson, Joe Baker, 12 News.